Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about how to back up your data files from Dentamax. If you have a network version of the software, uh, Dentamax Advanced for Networks, for example, if you have that version, um, you go to the server to do this. I recommend having people out of the system. You're backing up your data files. Um, you don't want people crunching heavy reports and whatnot while you're making a backup. So get, make sure everybody's at, out of the system. This is typically something that you do at the very end of the day before the last person goes home. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Friday USB flash drive. Okay. So we we'll plug that in. It's, uh, letter E. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Go to File. Go down to Backup Practice Files. Okay, and we already have E selected, so you make sure that you have your right drive selected. In this case, it is E, and then you give it a name. Okay, um, so I would give it the name of my practice, dental practice, to be generic. Okay, and then I like to give it a date. Um, I'll go ahead and put my date in the very front. Today is June. I will say it's the 16th, 2012. Okay, and we'll click on backup. This will backup all of my data files. Okay, Backup is complete. Alright, now I would just deactivate my flash drive and I'd be on my way. I would take this off site and be fine. Now if you have again the network version of the software, you would do exactly what I did from your server. If, you're, if you make a backup, you want to make sure the backup actually worked, you can restore that backup. So what I would do, I go to File, go down to um, Open Practice, and you can create a new practice. Okay, click on New, and I'm going to call this Restored Backup Test. Okay, All right, we'll click on OK, and now what the program will do is it will create a new um, database or a new data set um, so that I can restore my backup to that to test and make sure my backup really works. Okay, okay, so this is the screen that you'll go to once you create a new practice. This is a one time thing. Um, you can now, when you pull up this new practice that you've created, so typically to open it up, you go open practice and um, you'd find it from your list. And we call it restored backup test. Okay, you select that and then you go file, restore um, your backup. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and discard this. And then we call it uh, uh, June 16, 2012, dental practice, and then it's a backup extension. We'll go ahead and click on open and we'll go ahead and restore it. And now the program will restore our backup. And we can go into the patient's uh, list and make sure our patients are there, into our ledger. We can even check out a specific uh, patient's ledger to make sure our data is there. Once you've verified your backup really did work, you want to get out of this. You want to go back to your live data that you're using in your practice. So just go back up to open practice. Um, in this case, I've been using sample data other. Uh, and say OK. And you'll be back into your new practice. And I'll put in my password. And boom, I'm on my way. So this has been your Dentamax tip of the week. I hope you've enjoyed it. We look forward to next week.